All right, so ladies and gentlemen, basically, when we're, again, when we're trying to identify factoring, what I'm trying to factor is I'm trying to rewrite this as, as an expression. I want to rewrite this as the product. So again, when you're looking at this, you know, if you guys want to think about this, p, 2p to the fifth minus 10p to the fourth plus 16p cubed. We want to find out one side length, right? What is something that we can write as a side length? And so something times something else that's going to give you this. So basically what we want to do is identify what we call is a side length, something that can d evenly divide into this whole expression. And we call that something the greatest common factor, the largest factor that evenly divides into each one of these monomials. So first thing, the nice thing about greatest common factor is you don't have to do it, you don't have to look at everything um, as a whole. Just look at the numbers and then the variables. So what is the largest number that evenly divides into 2, 10, and 16? 2. two. And then what is the largest factor that, multi um, or sorry, what is the largest variable or power, um, the variable raised to a power that evenly divides into all of these? P to the third power. So what I'm basically asking you, ladies and gentlemen, is if one side length is 2p to the third, then 2p to the third times what gives us this? So to figure out that answer, what you can do is divide every single term by 2p thirds. right? Because I'm asking you, 2p thirds times what gives you this? So take your GCF and divide every single, every single term by 2p thirds. And what you get is p squared minus 5p to the first plus 8 um, p to the 0, which is just 8. So therefore, I have this times that gives you this. So your final answer is 2p cubed times p squared minus 5p plus 8. Does that make a little bit of sense? Like just a smidge?